Hello friends, welcome to VFX Pipeline and in this video I will show you how you can create a executable file from a Python uh, file. So let's say if you have a PY file and you want to compile and make a application or bundle that application to actually uh, share with other people then how you can do that. So right now I have a application which is just a normal application is doing nothing i just use this for my previous video tutorials so here if i run this like i have to run through python and qt and with that i'm able to run this application like this but imagine let's say if i need to uh, share this application with uh, uh, my friend so what i need to do is uh, i need to share this this folder uh, with my friend and what will happen uh, definitely they will see this py file but what if they don't have python installed in their system and even they have python installed in their system because uh, there are many versions of python so uh, you created this file in python 3 so as you can see that my python version is python 366 and i use some libraries also for that something like uh, pyside and psutil and request and there are tons of packages that i use to actually make this application and what i want like anyone who want to execute my application and use want to use my application they need to install all those packages and uh, the same python version and uh, then they are able to execute that so to make this process very easy you can actually utilize uh, uh, bundle your program in exe if you are in windows and in linux you can uh, make a bin file so it's just one file uh, or it's just a packet of uh, of the program that include everything so end user no need to install any other packages so how are you gonna do this? I will show you now. So for that you need uh, a Python package. The name of the package is PyInstaller. So let me just quickly install PyInstaller. You can install through pip install pip install PyInstaller. So in my system it's uh, already installed so I don't need to reinstall that perfect so the next thing what I will do is right click open the same directory where you are so my application is in Qt Python here it is so what I need to do is I need to run by so if by installer install in your system properly and you just type and hit enter and it will show you some help menu that uh, you haven't provided proper arguments for to run this uh, py installer script so that's required a script name which you want to compile so i would say okay compile qt test ui and hit enter then after that it's it will create a spec file and it will generate two folders one is build and one is dist after full compilation of your code it will now it is collecting analyzing the 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 modules that we are using in our application and after that he'll just make put everything inside dist so once you once it will compile your python code to a exe it will appear inside this folder it uh, depends on your what kind of uh, uh, libraries that you use and it will collect all those and it's also depend on your system uh, speed so based on that it will cal calculate the time and all so now it's pretty fast because our application is very basic so let's see should be done pretty fast as you see here it's actually taking all the dependencies PySide 2 because I just created this interface inside PySide so 
as you can see this my UI file right I'll be back when this done hundred percent right so now it's done and let's see what we have so far so we have a build directory which maybe contain some packages which is uh, the spy installer required to but you don't need to worry about that you need to go inside this and this is what you should distribute right so let's just see what what we have in our disk folder whoa it's just flooded with some files and you see there is a qt test ui.exe okay you just run this yeah and you are able to run your application but you see that there are there is a console here and if you close this console your application is also closed and if you run this again this console is there so it's uh, good to i see that uh, it's already compiled i can just ship this i can make a zip file and pass to my friends and i can say okay go inside run this exe and you're good to go but what if they miss some of this file delete or something like that then it's not a good idea uh, so we will recompile this application but this time we don't want this to be in multiple files we want everything to be compiled in one single file single exe file okay so how are we going to do that it's very very simple let's just go back to main root folder i'm going to delete these both two so make sure it's clear nothing is there okay so what we execute we say pi installer and our script name here right okay let me just pi installer and your script name and now you say two minus sign and then say one file and you see there was a console we don't want that console so say no console and hit enter what it will do it will do again it will create a spec file create two two folders build and test and after that your exe will be ready I'll be back when the exe will ready all right friends so just now it's compilation is done and just go to the dist folder and here you see we only have one exe file and once you execute that you are able to run your application and there is no console window so we just say hey no console right so with that you are able to send this uh, exe to and share with your friends and your colleagues so they are they don't need to install python they don't need to install any library they just run this and that they can use the application straightforward without any problem right now the final tip for this tutorial is you see this icon here uh, maybe you whenever you sh you making your exe or your application you have your own custom icon and you want to add that icon here in the exe so how are you gonna do that i'll show you let me just delete this So make sure you copy the icon in a location uh, maybe i prefer to put in the same location where you have the script file so this is my icon that i want to show in my exe so again go back to the command that we are executing before that is py installer our script name and one file no console and in the last icon equals to icon dot ico which is we are providing the name of this icon file and it should be ico file uh sometime i uh, take py file uh sorry uh, png file but i uh, some in my cases sometimes it's not working so ico is safe side you can use this icon file and now just compile again and it should 
Mori. Run command put this hit enter okay compilation is start hopefully this time it will be fast because there is no rendering running in my system so yeah it is fast it is very fast now so uh, as you see that with pi installer it, it's uh, very useful when you are working on some Python projects so with that you can easily uh, compile your application and pass to your friends and the same command the Py installer it will work for Linux I will show you in CentOS also maybe in some other videos but I try in both operating system Windows and CentOS and in both side it work absolutely fine okay so our exe is now done now let's go to the distribution folder okay see our icon is fully updated here once you run now you are able to run your application so this is it for this video here you can like create your exes by pi installer stay tuned subscribe this channel i'll see you in next video goodbye